something unexpected is happening in Canadian politics. This is happening with the party which is responsible for getting Trudeau in power. If you are thinking about the NDP, then you are correct. The members of the NDP firstly in the House of Commons voted for the hike in the carbon tax, doubling the housing cost, and banning the hunting rifles. After voting in favor of all these hikes, some of the NDP party members are now leaving Jagmeet Singh and the Liberals and saying that they will not contest the upcoming elections. And one of such members is Ontario NDP MP Charlie Angus. Well, he was not alone to take a decision of not going to take part in the upcoming election. There are other members, also Carol Hughes and Rachel Blaney. Before we delve further into the topic, make sure you have the like button and subscribe to our channel. Well, let's start with the topic. MPs from the NDP are leaving Jagmeet Singh, and the reason behind all these is lack of trust among the party members. The members who are leaving the NDP and do not want to contest the next election are Carol Hughes, Rachel Blaney, and Charlie Angus. Well, guys, one thing that we understand from here is that the main reason for Charlie Angus announcing his retirement is the increase in the boundary of his region. We all might have a question, is increasing the boundary really putting pressure on the MPS? Well, the answer is yes, and it does so because the policies will now be implemented to those who are to be included in a particular region. There has been an increase in the boundary of the region of Charlie Angus, and this step was taken by the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. The question here is why to increase the boundaries now when the next federal election is near. Is this a step to get votes of the people? Please do share your views on this. Charlie Angus says that becoming a professional politician has never been on his bingo card. While being there for 20 years and participating in seven elections, and yet he is saying this, this only marks that the federal government is inexperienced. But is it really the boundary change that has affected his decision? Well, he says so, but most Canadians believe that after putting Canada to its worst, he is not able to face the Canadians now, as he realizes that the step taken to support the hike in tax is wrong. Does by New Energy, Charlie Angus was talking about the Conservative Party leader Pierre Poilievre? Well, he is the only one with the energy to bring Canadians' life back to normal to give them homes, less tax Canada. Charlie Angus also talks about the trust in representative democracy. He is talking about trust of people. How can the Canadians have trust in a leader like Justin Trudeau, who is just making their life worse by increasing the tax, not giving affordable houses, and instead of investing in his own country, he is investing in other countries, who will trust such a leader to keep his own interest above the interest of the country and its citizens? Well, Charlie Angus accepts that big names have left the NDP party several times. He says that since he has joined the NDP, it has occurred seven times. If anyone leaves the party for the very first time, it can be understandable that there has been some miscommunication among the party members. But seven times it clearly indicates that the NDP is not working for the benefit of the Canadians. And this is the only reason why people do not want the NDP in power, along with the Liberals. As disillusionment with Trudeau's shortcomings, ranging from ethical breaches to economic blunders and environmental inaction, grows among voters, their gaze turns to Paul Lever as a beacon of hope and a starkly different alternative. This seismic shift in political allegiances marks a profound realignment, where the discourse transcends mere policies and delves into the very heart of Canada's governance, getting Trudeau's beleaguered liberalism against Poilievre's ascendant conservatism. This shift in the electorate is a resounding verdict on Trudeau's suitability as a leader. The decline in his popularity is a direct consequence of his misguided decisions that have left citizens worse off. Among the most damning missteps are his flawed policies, such as his controversial purchase and expansion of an oil pipeline, despite his lofty promises to prioritize the environment. This move has sparked discontent among those deeply concerned about climate change, as it appears to contradict his environmental agenda. Moreover, Trudeau's imposition of a carbon tax under the guise of protecting the environment has only added insult to injury for the people. It is clear that his actions have fallen short of his rhetoric, causing a deep sense of disappointment and betrayal among voters, the result? A clear and compelling mandate for change, one that challenges Trudeau's leadership and sets the stage for a new political era in Canada. Some departing NDP MPs have criticized Jagmeet Singh for what they perceive as insufficient ambition on climate action. They advocate for more aggressive measures, such as a faster transition away from fossil fuels. This reflects broader ideological tensions within the NDP between those who prioritize rapid environmental reforms and those who may prioritize other issues like job creation or economic stability. Comparatively, Prime Minister Trudeau's approach to climate policy has faced criticism for being insufficiently ambitious, with some accusing him of prioritizing economic interests over environmental concerns. Disagreements over economic policy have also emerged, with some departing NDP MPs advocating for more radical redistributive measures, such as higher taxes on the wealthy and greater investment in social programs. This highlights ideological divisions within the NDP between those who advocate for more moderate, incremental changes and those who push for more radical, transformative policies. Prime Minister Trudeau's economic policies have faced criticism from both the left and the right, with some accusing him of not doing enough to address income inequality and others accusing him of excessive government spending and intervention. 
Departing NDP MPs may also cite concerns over social justice issues, such as systemic racism and indigenous rights, as reasons for their disagreements with Jagmeet Singh's leadership. These disputes reflect broader ideological tensions within the party between those who prioritize social justice and equity and those who may prioritize other policy areas or electoral considerations. While Prime Minister Trudeau has made commitments to advancing social justice issues, his government has faced criticism for not always following through on these promises, leading to skepticism from some quarters. Policy disagreements between departing NDP MPs and Jagmeet Singh reflect broader ideological tensions within the party, with factions advocating for different approaches to climate policy, economic policy, and social justice. Comparisons with Prime Minister Trudeau's approach highlight similar challenges within the Liberal Party, suggesting that ideological divisions are not unique to the NDP. How will this affect the NDP only time will tell. But one thing that can be said is that the NDP are not working for the people of the Canada. People of Canada are not happy with either the NDP or the Liberals. They just want both of them out of power. The struggles of Canadians under the current rule of the Liberal and NDP government are no secret. From the ever-growing housing crisis to the pressing economic issues, our northern neighbors are facing an uphill battle. However, the weight of these problems pales in comparison to the looming shadow of the dreaded carbon tax imposed by the federal government, but alas, that is not the end of the story. Can you imagine? The government has now announced plans to hike the tax by a staggering 23%. This move has left Canadians reeling as they grapple with the already skyrocketing cost of living. The carbon tax, initially introduced as a measure to combat climate change, has now become a burden that the average Canadian can barely shoulder. The housing crisis, another pressing issue, has been further exacerbated by the NDP's vote to double housing costs. This decision has left many Canadians wondering if their elected representatives truly understand the struggles they face daily. The ban on hunting rifles, a move that has been met with widespread opposition, has further strained the relationship between the NDP and its constituents. Many Canadians view this ban as an infringement on their rights and freedoms and a clear indication that the NDP is out of touch with their needs and values. In light of these developments, it is no surprise that some NDP members have chosen to distance themselves from the party. Charlie Angus, Carol Hughes, and Rachel Blaney are among those who have announced their retirement from politics, citing a lack of trust in the party's leadership and direction. The boundary change in Charlie Angus's region, a move orchestrated by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, has also been cited as a reason for his retirement. This change has increased the size of his constituency, making it more challenging for him to effectively represent his constituents. The question of whether this boundary change was a strategic move to garner votes in the upcoming election has been raised. Some believe that Trudeau is attempting to capitalize on the discontent within the NDP, hoping to win over disillusioned NDP supporters. Regardless of the reasons behind these developments, one thing is clear the people of Canada are growing increasingly disillusioned with their current leadership. The struggles they face are real, and they are demanding change. As the political landscape shifts, many are turning to Pierre Poliver, the leader of the Conservative Party, as a potential alternative. Poliver has promised to address the issues that matter most to Canadians, from the housing crisis to the carbon tax, and to do so in a way that respects their rights and freedoms. Whether Polyev be able to deliver on these promises remains to be seen. The recent upheaval within Canadian politics has centered around the NDP, a party integral to bringing Trudeau into power. However, several NDP members, including prominent figures like Charlie Angus, Carol Angus, Carol Hughes, and Rachel Blaney, have announced their departure from the party, citing a lack of trust in its leadership and direction. Key factors contributing to their decision include policy disagreements, such as the support for hiking the carbon tax, doubling housing costs, and banning hunting rifles. Charlie Angus's retirement announcement has been linked to a boundary change in his region, orchestrated by Prime Minister Trudeau, which has made representation more challenging. Some speculate that this move was a strategic attempt to sway disillusioned NDP supporters in Trudeau's favor for the upcoming election. The discontent within the NDP reflects broader ideological tensions, particularly regarding climate action, economic policy, and social justice issues. As disillusionment with Trudeau's leadership grows, many Canadians are turning to Pierre Poilievre, leader of the Conservative Party, as a potential alternative. Poliver promises to address pressing issues like the housing crisis and the carbon tax while respecting citizens' rights and freedoms. Overall, the departure of NDP members and the shifting political landscape signal a growing dissatisfaction with current leadership. Canadians are seeking change and alternatives to address their pressing concerns. That's all for today. See you next time. For more updates, you can visit scoopcanada.com.